Hey guys, I want to talk to you now about backups in FL Studio 20. Now, the reason why I'm redoing this video, um, I did a previous one a couple of years ago on this channel, but the reason why I'm doing it again is because a lot of things have changed um, from the version of FL Studio that I used in the video, which was FL Studio 11, and the current FL Studio version, which is FL Studio 20. At the time, you could find your backups under um, your C drive, then you, you just have to go to your program files, head over to the image line folder, then uh, go down to the FL Studio 12 folder. Let me also do it so that you can easily follow me. So what I said uh, was at the time, just head over to, uh, to the C drive, then you head over to uh, program files, uh, image line, just like I, I just did in by clicking on it then you you could easily find fs studio 12 here then under that folder you could go to the data folder then backup here and you can see i had all my uh, all my files here no problem but then this is fs studio 12. so um in june i moved to fs studio 20 i upgraded and at some point I wanted to look for a backup or auto recovered projects. And I realized that by using this technique, I couldn't find any file. There was nothing there. There was no backup folder under um, the program files and etc. So the thing that you have to do actually, let me close this, is simple. You just have to go to your documents folder on your PC, wherever you have it. Then head over to the image line folder here it has a single folder, which is the data folder. So you click on this, and then you're gonna have um, some VST folders and stuff. But what we want to click on is this one right here, which is FL Studio. Then under FL Studio, you have artwork, audio, help. The one that matters for this, uh, for this purpose here is projects. So under projects, then you have your project bones, templates, but the backup one is the one that um, you know, whenever FS Studio is auto recovering your project as you work on that, if you have these settings enabled, then um, whatever uh, backup version that is being created will be auto dropped right here. This file, for instance, uh, for your information, I have this as a free FLP and uh, it's available in Dropbox. If you check one of the videos on my channel, uh, you should have a, a link right now on your screen. But if you check that video, then you can download that file. Uh, make sure you have to subscribe for future FLPs. But uh, back to this uh, tutorial, what I want to show you is that um, backups are now available under your documents folder. So they are no longer handled um, in your program files and image line folder and stuff. So make sure you keep this in mind and you find them uh, right here. Of course, um, before you complain in case you cannot find them, make sure you go to your views folder here so you go to sorry the views tab and under the views tab you have options so you head over to your options then you click on change folder and search options go to the view tab right here and make sure you have this uh, checked show hidden files folders and drives um, it's possible that if you don't have this enabled, let's say you have it set to don't show hidden files, it's possible you, you will not see some of the files. So just to be safe, make sure you have this enabled, all right? So um, that, that's pretty much it. I hope this uh, video helped you. And um, in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can easily track where your backups are, just in case uh, it's different on your PC and they're not available in that exact folder. So in the meantime, please subscribe, like this video, share it, and I'll catch you in the next tutorial.